welcome back to Skyrim Special Edition Legendary. Um, I apologize about that rusty voice. Uh, you're gonna inevitably expect me, inevitably expect me to do that. Damn, mods look really good here. So what I'm feeling like doing right now, obviously, as I said we we're gonna do in the previous video, is we are gonna go through Bleak Falls Barrow. Yeah. Now, some of you guys might be wondering, why the hell do we want to do this? Well, that's just, we're going to have to do this anyways. So our sneak leveled up, even though we just got detected. We want to watch out for the guys with the axes, because they can do a ton of damage if they hit you. And if you're not using a shield when they hit you, you're going to have a bad time. Oh, weird. Wait, why is this? Is it on legendary? Yeah, it's on legendary. Why does it feel like I'm taking no damage? What is this? I mean, I'm doing low damage, so what is that? I'm taking the same damage as if I was blocking. What? So we just leveled up. More health. And one-handed, we need to have a higher level for that. Damn. So, well, instead, we can get Sneak. We get 20% harder to detect. Can't complain about that. Oh yeah, yeah, I just stabbed through my own shield. Oh, that's gonna make a lot of sense. Okay. Oh, we got a hunting bow, which is a straight upgrade. So I guess I can get rid of... RID of the longbow. They are useless to me now. We're just gonna head straight on in to Bleed Falls Barrow. Now, you can do this stealthy, of course. So what I'm going to do right here is, I'm actually, I'm going to hit them from a distance. Silently. And I, I hit a pot, it looks like. Okay. But as see, we got an objective started, despite us not actually having accepted any new quests. That's what I meant by, this is an inevitable quest that we're going to have to do regardless. Now the enemies are dealing with more damage. Now we're gonna need restoration. Why did I not have that equipped? Healing. There we go. One-handed went up even further. We'll take this, that, and you know, I might as well take this so we can sell it later. They've killed a lot of skeevers, but we don't need any of that right now. Steel war axe, not useful to me. I can actually... Apologies. Eat this, and we get this damage stamina. We discover the damage stamina region. I'm having a bit of a... I'm just... Something's wrong with my throat. No, I have not been deep throating. Don't even think about it, guys. I like this chest. Did I just... Well, we get more long picks, a no nice silicrit, and some gold. I keep messing up my words. I keep tripping over my words. God damn it. Now, we can just hit wait. And look at this. Our health and stamina is back to full. Spends in it. Saves a lot of time waiting. I keep tripping over my own words today. Go out and grab that.
Now, this guy, you can either shoot with a bow, but I'm not going to be able to sneak up on him, so I'm going to shoot him with a bow. Because if I try and get close to him, he's inevitably going to spot me because I don't have the high enough sneaking perks. Plus, I don't have uh, the right enchants or perks necessary to actually have silent footsteps. So I'm going to actually make a quick save here because this guy and I can actually hit strangely hard, I guess, sometimes. Oh, right, that's because he's an outlaw. He's a higher tier of bandits. Actually, we're just going to get familiar here. And I got stuck. I, I got stuck on myself. Well, that's just great. Now that he's starting to attack the familiar, we can get some three hits off on him. As you saw, he made a finisher on our dog. Don't like it, but you know what? Life is life. What can you do about it? A quick wait here, and look at that. There we go. Plus, it auto saves. So, the pattern here simple. We have three faces here, but one of them is falling off and is down here, so we got snake, snake, dolphin. And there we go. Like this, and there it opens. If you mess it up, you're going to get shot with um, poison darts from uh, various mechanisms in the walls. I can't remember where they were. Was it in this room? I think it was in this room. You actually get shot... Oh, yeah, here. These things will actually shoot toxic darts at you if you got the wrong combination. Soul gems. Battle axe. I can sell it later. Banded iron armor. And some other stuff. Why don't, no, I don't want to pick that up. Why? Stop. Thief. Extra pickpockets. Now we're going to come across a few skeevers here. There's no problem. Effort is to kill them. Where are you going? Piece of shit. Where do you think you're going? Yeah, now he's just coming back. Okay, what? The, the, and now he's just running away. Oh, you know, I'm not even gonna bother with this guy. I'm out. <laughs> not dealing with that. So apparently he's gone now, so now we can wait. I don't need the paralysis poison. Actually, you know what? I'll take it anyways. Oh, here he is! Only it took you a full in-game hour to get here. Oh boy, Arville the Swift. No, I, why did I search that? That's because there's a chest back here. Because you can actually cut this away, and there's a chest back here, but apparently I didn't even need to cut it away, so okay. Now, this is a bit of a mini-boss. Cut this away. Marvel the Swift is over there, but there's a wounded frostbite spider, and these guys are tough. Mark my words, they're tough. So I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna make a quick save here because I've actually died a lot of times to this. Especially when we're trying to go melee. I'm gonna make it attack my familiar. But as you see, it's actually doing a lot of damage even to my familiar. leveled up. What is it doing over here? Oh, we do not want to get poisoned by it, though, because that will do a ton of damage. Don't get poisoned by this spider. You will take insane amounts of damage. So I'm just actually going to level up right now. Get this up. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I should just start leveling archery. Yeah, because we're actually going to need it soon enough. And we might as well reconjure our familiar because it's gonna expire soon and it has low health. Okay, 
Okay, this spider is onto us relentlessly. There we go. Attack the dog. And despite killing him, all you get is two frostbite venoms. So I'm not even going to bother with taking that. So this guy, he's actually a traitor. It saves. You did it. You killed him. Now cut me. Yes, the claw. I know how it works. The claw, the markings, the door, and the hall of stories. I know how they all fit together. Help me down and I'll show you. You won't believe the power the Nords have hidden there. Sweet breath of arcade. Thank you. Now if you cut him down. Get me out of here. He is. Watch. <laughs> it's coming loose. I can feel it. Why should I share the treasure with anyone? Yeah, he runs away with it. But, thankfully, he stops right after this doorway. And thankfully, even on Legendary, he's an easy enemy. I'm going to take this book because, <laughs> you know, I, I, I like it. So here we're going to face the Draugr for the first time. I really don't like these guys, especially how durable they are and the fact that there's always more than one. You can never fight one at a time. It's just not going to happen. You see, you cannot save because they're actually sleeping right there. You can see a skeleton up there and a sleeping Draugr over there. So I'm going to make a quick save because these guys can actually be really strong. Shoot at him a little bit. And there we go, we got one Draugr down. But, you can clearly see on the menu, on the uh, compass, it's showing another one is over here. If I remember correctly, this was a restless Draugr, a higher tier. <laughs> oh! Holy shit! It just killed itself on that spike door trap. If I correctly, yeah, there's another Draugr right over there. By the way, that was the strongest of the three Draugr in this room that just killed itself on that spike trap. Which is... I find that to be really funny. <laughs> it just actually kills itself. So yeah. You step on this, this is gonna slam at you. And you see he has a great sword, and this guy's got some of stuff. But you don't actually need to go over that trap, you can just go around it. Now there's gonna be some even higher level Draugr here. So I'm gonna make a save. And I'm actually gonna try and bait him into walking straight into the trap. Because trust me, you don't want to fight these guys when you're this weak. See, he's taking a lot less damage. But that's actually because he has a lot more health. See, Restless Draugr. It goes up to Draugr White, Draugr Scourge, Draugr Death Lord, and Draugr Overlord eventually. Thankfully, he's easy for leveling up. Oh shit, uh, I fucked up. We'll make him run into it. There we go. Made him run right, 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 run right into it. We get some stuff here. Thankfully, we can wait to regen. It's a nice little strategy. Now, these guys are wrapped up. You can search them. Get a bit of gold out of them. There's going to be even more Draugr over here. So I'll make a save here. If I'm going to release one... Yeah, right here. This one. Now, why am I standing down? Oh, this guy's coming after you, right? That, right? There you go. There you go. Right after you. Okay, it's time to level up so we can get our health back. One-handed, we still sadly cannot level that up. What we can do, however, is level up Archer, which we're actually going to need. 
Let's do that right now. Kill off this Draugr. Now watch out for that guy over there, because he shoots you with his arrows. And it's actually quite common that you might not even see him until, until you're basically dead. So I'm going to pop down my familiar right here. Get my iron shield out. Come on, attack my dog, not me. Wait, did my summon not appear? What? No, he did appear. Okay, he's just following me after here. Come on, attack my Danton dog, will ya? There you go. Potion of lockpicking. I'm not complaining. Like, ancient Nord Sword. No, it's not an upgrade. Good job, doggy. Good job. Just kill yourself, right? Now, by peeking I, like this, you can actually trick it, uh, the enemies into hitting us all if you step on it. Good, Draugr. Good, Draugr. Yes, please kill yourself like that. Do me a good job. Good job, man. Good job. So, where's a hunting bow? And now we have the ancient Nord bow. What's just a little bit more damage? And I'm not complaining. I'm gonna take this. Ancient Nord arrows. I'm gonna equip these preferably. Because they can do more damage. But I guess it's not that big of a difference. So, I'll keep it like this. Now, we can wait again. Kind of funny how the Dragonborn never needs food or sustenance. He just... Just lives on the sheer power of will alone. And no, 27 Day Freak. I'm not talking about your will. Shut the fuck up. So, locked chest, apprentice. It's not locked in this angle, it's locked in this direction. There we go. 16 gold. Well, that was not really worth the time. Ah, yes, something everyone loves. Swinging sides, or well, pendulums. Can quickly get past them, without a problem. There's gonna be even more drag around here. You can stop if you want. Which I'm preferably gonna do. Now, down here, there's gonna be a lot more Draugr, and they're gonna be high level as well. That's fun. Convenient, yeah? So, Ancient Nordbow. We're gonna sit back and fire at him. If I perfectly, there was a Draugr White over here, which I do not want to use. Oh, apparently I didn't even alert them. Okay. I'll take it. I'm not complaining. So we're actually going to zoom out a little bit. See if we can find up there. There's some more drug over there. Quick save, just in case we mess up. Which we're probably going to do. Oh, these lights up here, by the way. Shoot them. Firestorm. Because, um... That pink liquid you see on the ground, that's oil. You knock down these lanterns, they catch on fire. What do you expect? Were you expecting rainbows? No. It's an inferno. So yeah, even more drama. Thankfully, power attacks have a chance to stagger. Oh, hello! Thankfully, I looked around just in the right place. Yeah, you see that damage? You see that damage? That's why I'm always so careful. Uh, right here. Gonna get rid of the big guy with the big sword first. You do not want to get hit by him again. Oh, they've already killed my uh, companion off. Okay, uh, that's not good. I'm dead. <laughs> Ugh. <coughs> Ugh. Book me. I'm quickly knock this guy out. But that's what I mean. You do not want to charge in here and just do whatever you feel like because you will die. And you will die pretty fast. So actually, I'm going to save these lanterns this time. Let's see if we can bait out the dragon with a sword. Or I could just hit him like that. Or hit the wall with it, rather. 
bait these guys out into coming to search for me. There we go, now we set them on fire. So this guy is already at really low health. Block that. Take him down, and there we go. Oh, hello, he was hiding back. Eat a dog. Eat my dog, not me, you fucking pile of shit. Why is he going after me? This guy's racist? This guy's racist against Nords. No, no, he's racist against Irish people. Damn, Draugr, die. Actually, I might let the dog fight his balls off. There we go. Amulet of Talos, equip. Because Amulet of Talos, Amulet of Talos reduces your shout timer by 20%. In case you guys don't know what a shout is, you will learn soon enough. Make another quick wait here so we can get our resources back. Alright, there's just one Draugr here that comes up, and even then he's weak. And when an enemy is out of- when enemies are at low health, they will stagger and become unable to fight for a bit. So make sure that if an enemy is at already low health, you can just hit him a few times and that will take him down. Let you finish him off. If I remember correctly, we are right about to enter the final parts here. There's gonna be a bit of a waterfall down here with some extra loot. But first off, we're gonna get the chest, of course. Let's get these mushrooms, because you know, tripping mushrooms is always good for you. Scroll a fireball. It's kinda useless, but you know, I might as well take it, because why not, right? <laughs> the Draugr just died of fall damage. Okay, I'm not complaining. The Draugr just died from fall damage. Unlock chest. Novus. No problem. Scroll of Fire Storm. Now we're talking. So, yeah, they all come down in our scrolls. We have, holy shit, on Scroll of Guardian Circle. That's a master tier restoration spell. That's very powerful. Alright. I'm not complaining. Make a quick wait here. I'm not even gonna bother for these mushrooms. Remember correctly, this is gonna be the so-called Hall of Stories. Or, no, well, rather, the next part's gonna be, because that right there is a Draugr's Scourge. And I don't want to fight him. So I'm just going to be a little bitch. I'm hit him in the back. No, oh, Restless Draugr, right. Okay, you see me now? So I'll get familiars out. Now he's going to kill my dog, no problems. So I'm gonna try and stagger him as much as possible. And there you go, he's already killed off my dog. Okay. Level up. Health, we're definitely gonna need this. Archery, sadly we cannot level it any further. That sucks. What we can do though, is actually level up our conjuration. Or do I want to do... Actually, what do I want right now? Not pickpocket. We're not going to need that for now. Uh, do I want to do this? Do I want to do this? Or do I want to go for pickpocket? What, 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 what am I going to do? What do I want to do? What is it I want to do? Why do I exist for this? Huh? 
Hmm. I think I actually might go for pickpocket. Perhaps. Maybe. Probably not. No. No. Conjuration. Do I want this? Yes. Now we can summon our dog twice. Look at this. If you're familiar, it costs half the magic. I'm stuck, apparently. Come on, hit the dog. Piss off Pita, do it. And there we go, we finished him up. We've almost broken through Bleak Falls Barrow here. We're heading into Bleak Falls Sanctum. I don't think there's going to be any more enemies around here. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Oh, yeah, there will be. I believe this is the last room before we actually are pretty much done with this part and actually get to finish off Bleak Falls Barrow. from up there to come down and fight me here. Is he? Come on, please tell me he is. Yeah, he's working as a good distraction. Oh wow, they've already killed it off. Holy shit. Thankfully, I've got a bit of a trick up my sleeve. No, not that! Ah. Well. Off goes the Inferno. Now, I dare them to come down here, which they're probably going to do, unless they are brain dead. Oh, right, they, they're zombies. Why? Why do I bother? Yes, please be target practice. Now, look at the damage they've taken. That is, that is beautiful. So please step into the fire. Yes, good job. Iron ingots. Why do they start dropping iron ingots? That never happened in vanilla Skyrim. Is this some sort of special edition feature that I haven't seen before? I don't know. Might be. How do you kill what's already dead? I don't never get that. I don't get how you kill something that is already dead. It's not the bloody re dead. You can't kill it quite. But... What is down here, though? I've never checked, actually. Uh, not much, just empty soul gem uh, canisters, or holders, whatever you want to call them. Sucks, they're all empty. You can also melee these down. They do a lot more damage um, on the first uh, minute. First, th what is it? No, the first second uh, of the fire is uh, going to be the hottest. If I remember correctly, it was the key here was Eagle Eagle Dragon. Was it? No. Bear Moth Owl. Okay. Oh, right, because I was thinking of a, of a different one. There we go. Activate the keyhole. And let's get ready to fight um, a bit of a boss, I guess you could call him. Personally, I'd see him as a mini-boss. Yeah, here the, there he is. Damn bats, get out of here. There's actually some hidden loot if you know where to find it. So before we actually go straight up there... 
we're actually gonna head over here. Cause, you know, what's behind the waterfall, you know? What's behind the waterfall? Couldn't possibly be treasure. It's it's not even that good loot, but still, it's it's loot, and it's behind a waterfall. You know you can't resist it. Gold necklace, iron ingots, gold, and amethysts. Am I gonna say no to that? Maybe. In the higher levels, I almost only will. Okay, when, when we get this word of power, this is Fus out of Fus Roda. Stronger Overlord. You want to watch out for this guy because he's actually really strong. There you go. See, he's already killed off the dog. By the way, this guy hits hard, as you probably just noticed there. Quickly stagger him as much as we can. And there we go. The Dragonstone. Ancient Renord War Axe of Frost. Am I gonna say no to that? Nah. But there we go. Steel Warhammer of Cowardice. Oh boy, is this going to be overpowered? We are a bit over encumbered. Sucks for us, right? Yeah. Definitely does. Speaking of which, why not why am I over encumbered exactly right now? What is it that I'm holding on here to? Yeah, let's just get rid of this. I, I don't want that. And surprise, surprise. Look where we're coming out here. Dog just died. Don't care. We come out right here. There's always a shortcut. Oh, heavy armor skill. Uh, no. Take all the flowers. And I, I picked up the skull, and now I am overcumbered. Okay. Oh, that's because I have steel battle axe. That's why I'm overencumbered. Drop that heavy battle armor. Uh, weaponry. Weaponry. I'm gonna lose my shit. And where do we come out? Right here. It's it's a boring place. But hey, Chandra's potion. And now we have to make the boring journey to White Run. Thankfully, we can actually just jump right to Riverwood through here. And actually return the Golden Claw to its rightful owner. And get a bit of a reward for that. Well, one of us has to do something. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Oh, <clears throat> a customer. <laughs> Sorry you had to hear that. Well, I don't know what you overheard, but the Riverwood Trader is still open. Uh, yeah, we, we did have a bit of a, a break-in. We still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. <laughs> you found it! <laughs> there it is! Strange. It, it seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. Well, there you go. We got 400 gold. Can't complain about that.
Shut up, dog. Also, don't hit the chickens unless you, you know, want to get hunted down by the guards. I don't. <laughs> don't want that. Why would I want to get hunted down by the guards? You know, slapping a chicken? A long journey to White Run. Fuck the road. We get a. No, fuck me. I'm the one who's stupid enough for trying to take a road. No, actually, fuck the road, because I'm not I'm not stupid enough to take a road. Do people still use roads these days? I'm not sure. Either way, over there is White Run. Also, you're gonna come across wolves here. It's a guaranteed chance. If you want, you can get the wolf pelt, but I don't see much use in getting it, but still, you can pick it up. What is happening with these trees? Okay, so as you guys can see over there, there's um, Imperial Escort. Now, every time you start a new game, and the first time coming to the farm here, you're gonna find some of the companions fighting a giant. If you help them out, you'll get an invitation to companions. If you don't, you'll be disliked, but you'll still get an invitation. So what am I gonna do? Obviously help. Also, don't try to fight them unless you're high level, alone. Oh no, I accidentally hit Farkas. Yeah, I, I accidentally hit them just once. And this happened. God damn it! Ugh, you see, that's what happens when you just miss one hit. They'll become hostile towards you. And I, I fucking hate it. Oh, for fuck's sake. I don't have a bounty on me, do I? Hopefully not. God damn it. Am I stuck on here? Oh, for fuck's sake, why? Why? Of all the times, come on. Just, just, just get away from them. Something over there is hostile towards me as well. I don't know what, though. Come on, they're not supposed to be able to see me. How could they see me? Come on. I'm, per I'm perfectly well hidden. You are... You're fucking serious. Yo, is it, now he's gonna shoot me with a bow. Okay. Oh, yeah, is there someone else shooting me with a bow too? Are you fucking kidding me? Get me out of here. Okay, the guards are gonna do fuck all. You know, if you attack someone, the guards are gonna s come straight after your ass. If someone attacks you, no, they just they just cower away. You know, logic, Skyrim logic. Oh, are they going to stop chasing me? That's the question. Did they stop? Yes, they did. Finally. Wow. Speak of being savage. Wow, we just hit 40 minutes in the recording. Wow. That is far longer than I am supposed to be recording. Okay. Ooh, 
Wait, there's no guard here? What? Where, where's the guard? There's supposed to be a guard here that's gonna let you in. Uh... What? No, what, what, what? What the hell? No, wait, wait, what? Wait, what? Where? Where? Where is it? There's the guard over there. Did he just wander off? Did he break his own script and wander off? Dragons, I can handle. This talk of dragons, world gone mad, I'd say. No, wait, wait, where's the guard? Where's the piece of shit? Who's slacking on? Uh, wait. Gone on his job? Let's wait. And no, he's not back. Uh, halt! Uh, uh, there he is. He's close with the dragons about. Official business only. Fine. But we'll be keeping an eye on you. And now he's gonna let us in. What was that about? And we've discovered Whiterun. But thing is, I'm gonna be closing this episode here. So I'll be seeing you guys in the next episode. Hope you all enjoyed watching this weird ass playthrough full of bullshit. But thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.